Okay, folks, thank you again for watching. Uh, thank you for taking the time out of your day to click on this video. And um, I'm getting ready to bond these pieces in tonight. And I'm going to go ahead and mix up the thickened epoxy. And uh, once I get that ready to go, then I'll set another camera up. I might do it on my GoPro. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it's just been a real aggravating couple of days. Uh, my job. Uh, it's just uh, quality of work life just seems like it gets worse with each passing day out there and I really got to get to a point where I can retire from that job and of course that's that's what this is all about right here it's, it's, it's uh, I need something to do to stay busy when I do retire and, and, and this is part of it so I need to get busy on this boat and uh, gonna have to uh, just kind of grind through you know the, the aggravations and and uh, the stuff you know that uh, I experience seems like on a daily basis now at work and uh, we got to get this done and uh, like I said just get to a point where I can uh, walk away from that job and man I tell you what I hope that's soon okay thank you for letting me vent for just a little bit and I promise no more of that I'm also going to bond in these pieces here and, and I made the structure for the polling platform a couple of videos ago and I need to get that bonded in so I can get these rails put on and the reason I need this is because I've got to make a I've got to make a template right here that will uh, tell me what this angle is going to be this is this angle here it's not going to be a perfect 90 degree angle uh, the the boat tends to get a little bit wider as we go further forward and the beam width increases just ever so slightly so this is not a perfect 90 degree angle I really wish it was because if it was and I could just uh, uh, mark this off right here where I need to cut uh, for the inner part of that rail and then just take it out of a corner of that sheet of plywood and actually what I could do if these were perfect 90 degrees is uh, just take one off each corner of that plywood but it's not I'm gonna to have to make a template and so uh, we will feature that in an upcoming video so for right now I'm gonna get my epoxy mixed up and so stand by okay so I'm gonna try that with this GoPro setup I'm just gonna go grab the external mic and I will start mixing up my epoxy and uh, we'll get the show on the road all right, let me get my cap on. Hopefully, I get this thing aimed right. Thinking the box is mixed up. We are ready to uh, get these pieces bonded in. They're all wet down. Wet them down with the resin here just a few minutes ago. So, here we go. Let's rock. I staged all of my clamps earlier to uh, make sure I had everything in place and ready to go. This stuff's a little bit on the thick side. That's all right. And I'm kind of racing the weather here too. And it was raining earlier. And it's let up for now. And I promise this will be edited. It's not going to be a 30 or 40 minute video. I promise you that. I will edit. Okay. I hope you're seeing this. I'm kind of tip my head down there so I've got this stuff wet down and clamps are in place. Thicken the epoxy's on the mortar board. All right, let's get the first one going. Squeeze it in place just like so clamp it. I'm not real concerned about these squirting out. I just want to make sure the tops are even right there. Slide that up just a little. Clamp. And if it squirts out, then uh, yikes. i to find a plan B. Alright. 
back and work this here in just a moment. Ah, oh, yeah, we need to squeeze that out of there. Oh, please don't squirt out. I did not set up any dowel pins for these at all. Okay. All right. I think it's going to work. Let's take a look at it out here. I think, I think, I think, I think. Take this one loose. Squeeze them in just a little bit. Okay. And yeah, we'll work this stuff out. Hopefully you can see that. We'll work this stuff out here in just a moment. Using the slow hardener, it does give me a little bit of time. I don't have to just run at breakneck speed through this. I just got this stuff a little bit thicker than I wanted it. paddles here I think it's gonna to help to speed this up a little bit you saw my epic fail when I tried to use the coffin gun tubes boy that was an epic fail okay here's the other one give me a place of time I'm gonna get that set in there and I'm gonna squeeze it first squeeze 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 Squishy all that stuff out. Okay. Squeeze in place. Wouldn't you like to just dive right into that? Just have like a swimming pool full of this stuff? Yeah, right. Clamp, clamp. Okay, well, I'm afraid of. Get this one set in place. As you saw, the clamp actually squirted off of there. I'm trying to get these clamps to hold on that beveled edge. It's a little bit tricky. I'm going to move it in just a little bit further. Take a look at it out here. You know what? I did not put wax paper down. Hope that don't come back to bite me. Okay. Hope you're seeing this. Looks good. I like that line. A little bit hanging over the bottom there. I think we'll be okay though. These seem to be doing okay. Um, like I said, we'll work that down here in just a minute. Take the mortarboard back here. Set it on that piece for right now. I'm actually setting it on top of my polling platform structure. I want to fill that little channel right there. That's a shim. I need to make sure that stays in place too. All right. And I told you folks I was going to try to show you a little bit more of the actual detail work here. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm going to make sure that little gap gets filled, and if it squishes out, that's fine. All right. And, uh, okay. At this point, I don't care if I have a whole lot of this left over. I'm, I'm switching over to a different type of uh, epoxy. It's not that there's anything wrong with Total Boat. Uh, the 5 to 1 mix ratio does sometimes present a little bit of a challenge. So I'm going to go with Boat Builder Central. Talked about them here in previous video. I really like their uh, customer service in. Talked about, uh, you know, how quick they got back to me on an issue that I was having with their website. Man, I hope you're seeing this, because boy, I tell you what. This 
thing is going pretty well. Uh, now what we're gonna we're gonna put some underneath that too. It's another little shim. Put on both sides of the shim. Right there. I'm, and like I said, I hope you can see this. I tried my best to get this GoPro aimed correctly prior to uh, starting all this. I know a while ago I bumped it. I may not have had that little thumb screw tightened down all the way. I just would be happy if we're not taking a video of my ceiling here in my garage. Yeah, let's squirt that out of there. Perfect. Okay, on top of that. Perfect. Yeah, I'm almost perfect anyway. Okay, that little gap filled right there. Over here. do unto the other side as I did to this side. Nice little scoop of that mud. Fill the gap. I don't have a shim right here. Didn't need one. This location. Da -da -da -da. Uh, like so, fill that gap, a little extra, just to make me feel better. Probably don't need that much, but this stuff, it don't hurt. A little extra doesn't hurt. You know what they say, a little is good, a lot's better. Oh, three shots of that stuff, by the way. I'm going to go check those clamps up front, too. I'll make sure they're not squirting out. Uh, same thing. We're going to pull that shim back off, wet down. Put the shim back in place. That's just to help this sit nice and flat. Yeah, I think so. This is all going to get clamped here in just a moment. I hope you're hearing this too. I've got my mic. I just couldn't resist that temptation right there. Stick my finger in it. slow hardener should be okay and I don't want to stop and write your letters I do want to expedite okay. change gloves yep definitely change gloves pieces in place and clamped and then go start working the epoxy out of the grooves. I really don't want to have to sand that stuff down later. Right there. That goes like so. It's all wet down in there. Here we go. thing. I'm going to use this, position this where I need it. I don't need to, I don't need to leave this there. I just need a, a good flat edge. 
I don't know where that needs to uh, to rest. Get excess out of there. And put it there. Why not? Right? Okay. <sighs> okay, I need one of my mixing sticks right here. I need something with a sharp corner. Let's get that out of there. I don't need that in there. Okay. Clamps. Perfect. Flat edge. Okay, third hand. Oh wait. Don't have one. Like I said, I hope you're seeing this, man. I, man, this is this some good footage. If I didn't mess up on this aim on this GoPro. check one last time and what I said about checking your work okay nice flat surface right there put that there get that ready for the for the other side this is gonna scooch back just a little that, that rib extension right there is twisted ever so slightly we're gonna scooch this back just a little The Texas word scooch. You from up north, you don't know what that means. You from up north, you don't know what a lot of things mean. <laughs> Couldn't resist that. Uh, rag, 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 rag. <laughs> right here. Let's just use one of these. Like I said, do need to move a little bit more in the snail's pace, even though this is the slow hardener. And let's see if we get that out of there too. And some of the stuff I'm just gonna have to come back and fill the gaps later. Alright. Actually save that stuff. All right, here we go. Clamps. Shove that all the way back, like so, all the way up against that stern. Open up clamps. Yikes, what happened there? That shouldn't be. Okay. What I have to do is get that back, and I'm probably going to have to use one of these big long clamps right here. That's that little squirting out thing I was talking about right there. Kind of lubed up on that, on that uh, epoxy. So what I'll do is clamp one of these in there. I hope my GoPro battery don't go dead. Okay, that's poor planning right there. I was thinking that this would hold And not do what it did, what you saw it do just there. It squirted out when I put the clamp on it. We're gonna try the clamp one more time. I'm gonna try it from this other side. And we're gonna put the clamp straight down instead of at that angle. Let's try that. Yeah. That's a little bit of a concern right there. I really need this piece. Try that angle instead. No, that's just squirting. Dead gummit. 
That is what is happening. Okay, I'm gonna get the other side, address that. Very quickly, I'm gonna put some stainless steel screws in this thing to hold this down. And uh, I'm gonna have to kind of drill those on the fly. This, this is all about problem solving. And I have run into a problem. Thank mm -hmm. you.